Welcome to another lesson of Recorders with Miss Terry. We will be working on the Mickey Mouse March still, but we're going to learn about our a new symbol. We're going to learn about this. This is the repeat. So it means we're going to repeat a section. So um, we go until we find a symbol that looks similar that has two dots going the opposite way or has the whole symbol going the opposite the two dots on the inside of the lines so I know we did part of the line last week but I feel this is a good good breakup as well so that we can learn about the repeat so that means we are going to do it twice and then you'll notice right here that there is a one at the bottom. Well, that means when we go through that whole section the first time, that's what we stop with on one. And then we're gonna go back up here and start again. But then when we get done with that, the second time, instead of ending on that C, we'll go to that C for our E and then do a C, C, A. And with this means we're going to hold our note. So we play the other notes like we normally would and then we're going to hold this one just a little bit longer. So I'm going to do it like I've done before. We're going to go through it twice and then you will have a turn to practice and I'm going to tell you like I told you last time don't practice too much or to the point that you get frustrated just practice a little bit and just practice a little bit before you get frustrated with it so now we are going to go over the notes that are going to be in the section so the notes in this section are going to be C. I'm going to show you them on the recorder and play them. C, thumb, or thumb on the back, second hole with your left hand. That's a C. Then a D is the same thing on the front, but no thumb on the back. Then we have B, which is the top the top hole with the thumb on the back. Then we have A, which is just adding another finger, keeping that thumb on the back. G is the same thing, adding another finger, keeping the thumb on the back. And then the note that we've talked about before but didn't do last time is our E, and we will actually only be doing it twice throughout the whole song. We're only doing it twice because it's a repeated section. So you're going to have your top three with your left hand and then you're going to take your right hand and cover the next two and then do half for your thumb and that's your E. And you notice your E is a little bit higher so it's, the, but that's okay. That's the way we want it. We don't want it screechy higher. We just want a little a little bit noticeably higher. Okay, so we're going to go through the section and I'm going to do it like it's supposed to be done, which is we're going to do it twice and I'll end on that holding that A a little bit longer. And remember that this this time of practicing right now is just so our fingers can get familiar with where they need to be placed. So let's begin.
Okay, so that was our repeated section. And if you even notice with me, I have trouble still remembering where to put my fingers for E sometimes. So it's just that's, don't rush through that. And if you're not careful, sometimes you might run. If you get really excited and you start to go really fast when you're not used to it, and you might um, run out of breath and you don't want to do that because then it will sound funny. But that is our section. I'm only going to do it once today because you're going to have to, because I did it twice for you. I just did it without stopping. And our next lesson, we will get into more of our recorders. But I hope you practice and you have fun with it. But remember, don't practice too much. Uh, five, ten minutes after you do after you listen to it five ten minutes of playing it i think you'll be good but until next time i miss you guys see you later